Hey there, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. All right, I'm in my shed and this is a video all about the solar panel, and uh, which I've got here. I have lots of requests from people to kind of talk, talk them through what I did in order to install uh, solar electricity into the shed. So this is what this video is going to be. Hopefully it'll just be a quite a short little video and it's all going to be handheld so it might be a little bit wobbly although I have got my camera stabiliser switched on so hopefully it won't be too bad. Now I always get nervous about trying to teach people how to plumb in electrics. It's not, uh, it's not necessarily a wise thing to do. I've actually included this uh, disclaimer at the beginning of this video and if you genuinely don't know what you're doing or if you haven't got a clue about this stuff then I would really really prefer it if you um, get somebody who does you know, know what they're doing. Uh, because obviously if you get it wrong it can be dangerous especially when you're dealing with a battery if you get the polarities wrong on a battery you could have an explosion so you've got to be safe about this i'm not actually a qualified electrician or anything like that basically i've been dabbling with uh, batteries and bulbs and leds and motors since i was i mean i don't know five years old i was i was just always been interested in them so i got a handle on the basics when i was very young so i've never really taken it to any qualified level but it's always got me through kind of life um, you know when we're talking about this 12 volt stuff but I will try to talk you through as best as I can what we've got here and how uh, how I've done how I did it uh, it may, may be completely the wrong way of doing it but this is how I've done it so essentially what I've got here is a cheap solar panel and I got this from uh, eBay it was uh, about 30 pounds and it came with the charge controller which is this thing here and uh, obviously it needs a battery to run it. Now the, the principle is very simple the solar panel charges the battery and the battery is always on constant feed to the accessories that I have in the shed which is basically a cigarette lighter socket and a running water system and of course lighting. Uh, where are we? There we go, lights as well. So let's start off with the solar panel. Obviously, um, I've just shown you that. And that is plumbed in to the, um, the charge controller here. Now, all of the wires are, are household wires. This is a three core I've just chopped off the earth because obviously you only need positive and negative when you're dealing with 12 volt DC. So it's basically standard 13 amp household wire. That's what I've been using and uh, that'll be plenty big enough as far as I'm aware for what I need. And the, uh, this wire goes straight to the solar panel. It's literally a positive and a negative. Obviously you have to get them the right way around. Uh, and that is connected directly into the solar charge panel. Uh, here we go, the uh, positive and negative. So the positive and the negative are connected here. Um, and that's directly from the solar panel. Then, We've got another wire that goes off to the battery and uh, what I've done is I've put them through a fuse. I've used two little spade connectors uh, to create a fuse. So basically you've got the negative, uh, where are we, the negative there that goes direct to the battery, the negative on the battery and then the positive uh, goes direct to the positive on the battery via this fuse. Okay, it's pretty straightforward stuff and then the same goes for the main feed this light bulb here positive and negative that is your main output and this main feed goes via a fuse actually I've got two fuses on this particular one um, but it goes through a fuse to um, basically what I've got here is a distribution panel uh, so basically the 12 volt feeds into one of these uh, terminal blocks and then I've got uh, one of these things connected. This is probably the power supply for the water pump. And then when I fed it in, I also took a positive and a negative and fed them off to the next terminal block so that I could then put the next accessory thing, which is probably the cigarette lighter, uh, into there. And each time I tap in, I run a positive and a negative off to the next terminal block. So if I wanted to attach something else, I would attach it to these two, which is the negative and the positive. And then at the same time, I would run another two cables off to the next terminal block. So it just makes life a little bit easier to feed off to uh, you know each of the accessories. 
So anyway, what we've got here is obviously the solar charge controller is going to be different for uh, depending on which one you've got. But basically all that happens is the solar power comes in here uh, and then it goes and charges the battery until you get a solid light on the battery which tells you the battery is fully charged, at which point it stops charging the battery so it doesn't cook the battery. Uh, and then this load light basically tells you that this circuit is live, this, this load is live. Um, and obviously the accessories will work from this and then it's just a simple question of feeding the wires off in this case to the light switch um, and all you do is well all I tend to do is I run the negative right through and put the switch on the positive feed and that's exactly what I've done for everything here so for example uh, this cigarette lighter socket here you can actually it's probably better to see it from underneath um, this is a 12 volt feed where are we? I'm doing this upside down. Uh, so the blue is the negative or the neutral and the brown is always the uh, live. And in this case, I've taken the brown, I've put it through a switch which breaks the circuit and then that feeds into, uh, where are we? <laughs> it's all back to front. That feeds into here, which is the uh, positive. Basically, if the switch wasn't there, um, the, the switch is simply a break in the positive feed. So you can turn on and off the uh, the positive feed, which cr completes the circuit. But this is basic 101 stuff, which I really shouldn't, um, like I say, if you don't know this stuff, I wouldn't actually recommend you uh, try it yourself, um, unless you really got a, at least a little bit of a handle on what circuits are about and stuff. That is pretty much it. So all you need is a 12 volt battery. This particular one is has got 13 amp hours on it. Um, you can get slightly more ones. This is a, this is a, a, um, a lead acid, a sealed lead acid battery, and it's designed for use with golf carts and pedestrian scootery type things. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's literally all you need. It's like a little 12 volt battery, uh, a charge controller, and of course a solar panel. And it's literally just a case of of, of following the the little symbols that it's got on there. Uh, sticking with your negatives and your positives um, and then obviously the lighting same exactly the same thing uh, this is a 12 volt feed to the uh, the light strip here uh, that goes off along 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 into the switch so it only this wire only becomes live when I hit the switch which uh, somebody has pointed out to me is upside down um, <laughs> yep I figured that part out but I figured it's working so I'm gonna leave it um, Anyway, that is pretty much it. I hope it at least shed a little bit of light onto um, how I did this. You know, like I say, it's pretty straightforward stuff, but if you're not sure of it, please, please get somebody who does know about it to do it for you um, because I don't want to be responsible for people doing it wrong and having a battery blow up in their face or whatever. Um, so there we go. Anyway, this was purely a requested video, so I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching guys, have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.